Chambu is a really beautiful village with a lot of nice people. It's right in the mountains, what you wouldn't expect from a city in Indonesia. I wouldn't expect that. I think it's really nice that the sun is gone uh, once in a while. And the people here, they're really nice and beautiful. They try to communicate with me even though I don't speak Indonesian. The village is really small because I'm from quite a big city. So it's very funny for me to see that there are not as many people living in a village, but they keep it up with each other. And I think that's really beautiful. So far, I have a really good experience in the village. And I also have really good experience with the villagers as well. Like with the kids from the village, we used to play volleyball together in my village. In Kasiman, there is a volleyball game every day in every afternoon. So usually the locals gather, like we play volleyball together and we have fun together. Please, please come to Putin. This is a very wonderful village with nature, as you can see a lot of forest, there's also a river. The people are really welcoming. The children are always accepting, they want to play with you. I have been very much interested in studying international relations because I went to an international school. I think I really became more interested in what's going on in the world. So um, helping to develop infrastructure in a rural area, in a developing countries, and also like working together with the community is something that uh, will definitely affect my future and I think this experience has really become a milestone in my life. My parents uh, love traveling and they took me traveling a lot. I've seen the most weird places um, and they think it's really important for me to go to different countries on my own and do this kind of stuff because they want me to learn from other cultures and experience that. It is an international program, so I can get like global exposure from this program and I can get to meet new people from the overseas and even from other parts of Indonesia. And I can also get new experience here like to, from living in the village and helping the people in the village as well. At Kasiman Village, we have public restroom projects where we paint the restroom again and then we put new tiles on the restroom as well. And also we have the project at the town hall where we put down the roof of the town hall and then we paint the roof one by one and then we change the pillars, we change the columns of the town hall and now we are on progress, we are still working on the murals at the town hall so it gives the town hall a new look. I was trying to participate in all the everything work like painting, drawing, fixing the floor, and making a welcome sign, and teaching kindergarten or elementary school. Especially the kindergarten and elementary school lecture was so in impressive. I teach the importance of the water and making the filter and give it to the clear water for the kids. Uh, we've done uh, several projects. The first one is the water tank. We've been restoring bricks into the water filter to repair the water tank. We've also done uh, workshops with the adults and the children in the village to teach them how the water is filtered in this village. Um, second one is the pathway uh, in the toilet. We also cleaned the public toilet next to the mosque here. And then the third one is the staircase uh, near the river so that when the tourists come or the, when the villagers want to go down to the river, they can use the staircase. And I didn't really have high expectations because of the rest of the city, but then I came up there and it was a really beautiful pool, but it was just abandoned. And I thought it was, yeah, not really nice. And we started painting and I really liked the painting, but it was a lot of hard work. I realized that maybe the project was a little bit too big for us, but then the local villagers came up and helped us 
and I think that was really beautiful to see how we all in harmony worked on one project. I have made a lot of different memories. Uh, it's really difficult to pick one, um, but I think with my host parents, we have a really high language barrier because I don't speak the language here, Bahasa Indonesian or Japanese, and my parents don't speak any English. But uh, my parents have been very, very kind to me. Uh, whenever I come back from work, they are always like, makan, makan, you should eat. <laughs> and they would give me gifts like a blanket or the PJ to keep me really um, cozy in their house. I think it just shows how welcoming they are and how accepting they are into their community. They always try to do the best for you and they think about you first and then think about themselves. But I'm also very happy to see that they are really content with the things they have and that also makes me think about myself and when I look at these people. I get more happy with what I have and I'm also really happy that these people communicate with each other and they're a happy village. I think the village is really beautiful, um, the swimming pool is amazing and I'm really happy that we got to turn it around. I hope that everyone can be more aware and be more careful about their surroundings and their living environments because every little actions and every little things that we do, it can be impactful for the society and it can make a good change or a bad change. So we need to be careful about our actions that we do. I think it's important that we all be kind to each other and I really miss all of you. I'm excited to go back home, but I'm also having a lot of fun here and I hope one time you can also come to Indonesia to experience this amazing place. <laughs>